Number five, we are going to determine the rate law using the initial rates method here. We've got three experiments, two reactants, um, and the initial rates are given. So we are going to say, well, let's take a reaction that holds one of these two constant. We'll say reactions one and two that holds hydroxide constant. We'll divide those by one another. So Rxn reaction one divided by reaction two is going to be equal to um, the rate here because if our rate law is going to be equal to some rate constant times the concentration of um, ClO2 raised to some number X times hydroxide raised to some number Y we can take two reactions divide them by one another um, and help eliminate some of these variables We've got three variables we're working with here we got to eliminate uh, two of them and solve for the last one. So looking at it, um, we can take re reaction one. Our rate is 0 0.0248 molar divided by 0 0.00276 molarity per second. Okay, for each of these, molarity per second. Change in concentration over time is equal to the rate constant divided by the rate constant which is going to cancel out chlorate 0 0.6 uh, 0 060 make sure we get that 0 060 to the x and then 0 0.020 to the x multiplied by something that stays the same 0 0.03 0 to the y, that's our hydroxide, to the y, that'll cancel out as well. And so overall, we would have that divisor of the rates, um, which we can go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and write it this way. What we've done essentially combine the terms with the exponent x here. 0 0.060 is three times three to one to the X and so we should get some um, multiple of three here or um, either let's just just punch it out here with the rate two four eight divided by point zero zero two seven six gives us rounded off to nine and so we're gonna say that X equals two Okay, so we've got our two here for chloride, second order in hypochlorite, or excuse me, uh, chlorine dioxide. It's not an ion here, it's a molecule. Um, if we then say, well, we know our X now, let's get our Y by dividing something that holds a constant here. Okay, and so we're going to divide a reaction um, two and three. And that's going to be 0 .0, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and write out the rates, excuse me, 0 .00276 divided by 0 .00828 molarity per second, molarity per second equals rate constant times rate constant is constant, so it cancels. Then we're going to have our constant here. We cancel there. Then we see 0 0.030 to the y over 0 0.090 to the y as well. Okay, And so that's going to give us, if we have our rate, so then 276 divided by 828 um, for our rates, so again, 0 0.00276, 0 0.00828 gives us a value of 0.3 repeating, and so that's the same as one third. Okay, so that 0.333 repeating, that's the same as one third, and so we end up with, if we expand out here, not as much room, good thing it's a practice exam, 0 0.03 point, um, should be 0 0.090 there. 
0.090, and so that's 1 over 3. 1 over 3 to the y equals 1 over 3. Anything raised to the 1 gives us itself, and so that's what we have, y equals 1. So we've got x, we've got y. Now we can solve for the rate constant. So let's pick any one of these three. How about reaction 1.0248? molarity per second equals the rate constant times 0 0.060 raised to the x which was 2 times 0 0.03 all from reaction 1 here and that's again molarity we want to make sure to keep our units in here so sorry about that molarity raised to the 2 0.0 Three zero molar and said it again and didn't do it molar times uh, a raised to the one because we just sat, solved for y okay and so that gives us our rate expression so we took one of the rates from our reactions set it equal to k times our two concentrations at, the, at that given reaction and so now we can work this out and so we can say k times let's do the first first here make sure we keep everything clear 0 0.060 squared is 0 0.0036 and that's molarity squared now times 0 0.030 molar we multiply those two together times 0 0.03 molar And we get K times 0 0.000108 molar to the third equals 0 0.0248 molar over seconds. And so if we divide both sides by the constant here on the right, molarity to the third, so 0 0.02. 4, 8 divided by 0 0.000108. Of course, you could be using scientific notation, no problem. That's going to give us 229.6, so 230 to three significant figures. We could say 2.30 um, times 10 to the 2 and divide by molarity to the third. So that's going to be 1 over molarity squared over seconds so molarity to the minus two seconds to the minus one whichever way we say it and then we say what's our rate law determine the rate law of this process and so we'll just say the rate equals this constant 230 um, times or 230 uh, and we can put the point there to indicate it's three significant figures times the concentration of our first reactant ClO2 to the 2 and then hydroxide to the 1. We don't need the 1 because it's understood and so there is our rate law with everything solved out. Okay, Exponents and rate constant. Overall that's a third order reaction.